Sky fans, I'm once again honored to be joined by members of the 1964 Toronto Marlies. We have Pete Samowski and Jim McKenney. So happy you're here with us today. So, Jim, where is your sweater? Where's your jersey? I lost it. One a kid took it off me up upstairs, and he was a he was a tough kid, and uh, he wanted the sweater, and I said. Uh, I don't have a tie down here, so I didn't want to, you know, get into it with him. So I gave him the sweater, you know. So in the end, you did something nice for a kid. We're happy to hear that. Made his day, probably. <laughs> so, so Pete. You know, he had to fight for that jersey, you know, and he never won a fight when he played. So he's not going to win a fight now. That's why he doesn't have his jersey right now. I got this kid about this big, threw a couple of punches at him, and bing, two hits. He hit Jimmy, Jimmy hit the floor, and he ran away with his jersey. So we got people looking for that jersey, all right? So don't leave the building until we find the thing. Yes, yes, yes. Referee, get in here. Get in the middle. Where, where's the ref? It's not here. It's, well, we're okay, though. You know what the three worst words when two guys are fighting that they don't want to hear? Two guys are fighting. The, ra the linesman says, let them go. That, those are the two words you don't want to hear. You want them to jump in and... Jimmy was not a fighter. Jimmy was a lover and a goal scorer, so it was always a great time to play with him. A little bit with Toronto, a little bit the Marlies. We ended up winning a Memorial Cup, so he was a great teammate and a, a great human being. That's so good to hear. So actually, talking about teammates, how does it feel to be here today having this reunion with your fellow teammates? Well, it was wonderful to see all the guys, and uh, they put a lot of work to, uh, you know, to, to put this whole thing together. And I, you know, I. I really want to thank everybody with uh, the Marley's organization because uh, we, we've had a wonderful time to see all the some of these guys I haven't seen for 10 or 15 years. Jack Chip Chase, my old uh, defense mate with the Marley's. And uh, yeah, we, we've had a really good time for the last couple of days. And uh, now we can uh, renew our relationships and maybe play a little golf in the summertime. I, I can make money off these guys. They all think they're good. So, Pete, you had a big moment in your life. You were part of the 1967 Stanley Cup Championship. What was that moment like? Well, uh, you know, you play, you strive if you make the National Hockey League is, is to win a Stanley Cup. So I can say that summer of 1967 when you won the Stanley Cup, I did not buy a beer all summer. I was a single guy, and there was not a girl in Winnipeg that wouldn't go out with me. <laughs> So those are the, the, the good things about winning the Stanley Cup. But, you know, 15 years in the National Hockey League and able to get a Stanley Cup here in Toronto, where I think one of the greatest fans in the world right here at, in, in Toronto. They are just absolutely fantastic. And being here with the guys today, you know, we had a weigh-in before. We want to say, you know, what, what are you now and what, what, what was your playing weight 50 years ago? And this guy's five pounds lighter, and I'm about... Uh, I'm about a pound heavier, as you can notice, but it's been a great, a great day, great event. You can not notice it all. You both look great, always looking great in the blue and white, and we're honored that your names are proudly on one of the Leafs right here at Rico Coliseum. So, fans, we need you to make some noise for these two legendary hockey players, Pete Samoski and Jim McKenney.